This I think we have us a debate. <laughs> Where'd that come from? What the hell? Let's get to the next question. Why is Orange Cassidy so popular? You know why he's so popular? I'll tell you why, because he's the epitome of everything that's wrong in pro wrestling today. He's the epitome of every idiot smart mark fan in this arena tonight and watching at home. He's lazy, he's arrogant, he's entitled, he's overbearing, and he's a pimple on the ass of the pro wrestling business. But next week, Orange, I'm gonna pop ya. Boop. I'm gonna beat you again for the second time, and when I do, when my hand is raised, you're gonna have to give me $7,000 to replace this designer creation that seems to get oranger every single week from whatever you put in that demonic orange juice of yours. And after you're embarrassed, after you pay me the money, you're gonna walk out of here, you're gonna leave AEW, you're gonna quit the pro wrestling business and go back to being Jim the Jamba Juice guy down at the mall, and you're gonna take my order of a blueberry smoothie with extra protein and pumpkin seeds, and guess what? I'm not gonna give you a tip. Mr. Cassidy, your response, please. Nothing. Next question. Last question. Why does this rematch mean so much to both of you? Well, the reason why the rematch means so much to hey, me is- Hey, Chris, shut up. Shut up. Chris, I know what you're doing here. I know what this is. I mean, you scheduled a debate against a guy who doesn't talk. It's pretty smart. You're just trying to embarrass me, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, I am. Try to embarrass me with all this? Mm-hmm. I'm not embarrassed, Chris. I don't care. I don't care about you, but I do care about next week. See, I care about that match. I do. I mean, it's the biggest match of my life. Yeah, right it is. It's also the biggest match of your life too, Chris. Really? Can you imagine, Chris? I mean, you're Chris Jericho, man. You've done it all. All the things that we can Google later. But I'm telling you right now, Chris, what if this, what is Chris Jericho loses to the guy that puts his hands in his pockets? I want you to look at me, Chris. I want you to look into my eyes and look at the man that is going to embarrass you. And next week, Look at the man that's going to beat you. Well, how about that? Shock, shock. This was inside of Orange Cassie. It just came out right here in this debate. That's well, my answer. I have no choice here but uh, to declare that, Mr. Cassidy, you've walked away with this debate. Oh, wait a minute. Hold what on. Are you talking about? I'm sorry, that global warming thing got me. What are you talking about? Nobody wins the debate. You know what, Bishop? I haven't liked you for 22 years. It's been 24, and I know exactly how you feel. Okay, Orange, you know what? I'm glad you won the debate tonight. But next week, I'm going to kick the shit out of you in this ring. You know what? As a matter of fact, I'm going to kick the shit out of you right now. Get him, Jake. Oh, oh. Hager assaulting. Come on now. What a manhandle towards Cassidy. Ironically, a week. Look at his body shots. shots. You brick the man down. He's out of the heel in seven days. No, you're right. He's, he's not going to heal in seven days if he breaks him apart. That right hand across the face. Oh, my God. He's putting the heads in his pocket. That's actually oh, pretty crazy, okay. Jake. <laughs> oh, into the Judas effect. 
and then knocked him right out. Out cold, man. You're right, Tony. That is a very shocking look. The expression of the face of Orange Cassidy. Best friends to try to protect their, their buddy Orange Cassidy. Just yeah. got dropped with that Judas effect. Yeah, well, they've had a quite a night themselves. Have best friends. All I know is that next week, Jericho, Orange Cassidy one on one, no matter what shape Orange is in, apparently. And Orange has got a $7,000 debt to pay if he loses. You're done! There it is. The experiment is over!